watch this.
This is a story of courage, honour and words. War had cast a shadow over their once peaceful land. Gunfire filled the air as worm turned against worm. Where so many had fallen, others knew they must follow. For one such worm this day had already come. When he was two, his father had left, never to return. Three years he had waited for his chance to fight. Three years of training, both day and night. And though he was scared as he set off for battle, he knew in his heart it was something he must do. Three inches tall and armed to the teeth, a fine soldier he made, and his name was Boggy B.
scrambling up a hill and hiding behind a tree. He looked at the battle that raged down below. It was there he saw his friend Spadge stood upon a bridge. But another worm had also seen him and aimed to have him dead. Boggy called to Spadge, but Spadge didn't hear, and he never knew what hit him as he flew into the air. It was all too much for Boggy as he watched his best friend die, his heart filled with rage, and he gripped his rifle tight. Charging down the hill, he had to have revenge. What had Spadge done to come to such an end? Reaching the bottom of the hill, Boggy suddenly heard a click. He realized to his terror, there was a mine under his tail. Hitting several cliffs and landing in a tree, Boggy pulled himself together, there was much he had to do. Spotting the enemy down below, he knew this was his chance. Boggy grabbed a stick of dynamite and dropped it on his head. The enemy he tried to run, but all he could really do was squirm. As the fuse ran out, there was a mighty bang, and everywhere were bits of worm. With their leader blown to kingdom come, the enemy they turned and ran. Boggy bungeed from the tree and landed safely on the ground. As he watched the enemy squirm away, the cry went up, We've won the war!
I'll get you.